Welcome to the Wavy Digital Desk Chat. We're here today with Peter Decker III, and we're going to be speaking about the Norfolk St. Patrick's Day Parade. It's back after three years, um, and we're so excited to hear about this year's event and the parade's history. So I'm going to bring them on. Pete, thank you so much for being with us today to talk about the parade. I wore my green. You wore your green. I did. Get ready for the event. Um, but, you know, can you just get started and tell us a little bit about your connection to the parade, and then and we'll sort of move through the history and what to expect this year. Yeah, I know. I'm so glad to be here. Thank Thanks you. again for Absolutely. inviting me and allowing me on Wavy. Yes. Well, this seems to matter so much to the community and, and yeah. so much to you, obviously. So it's, it's going to be good to talk about it. It's a big deal. Yes. And we're so excited because, you know, last year was, I think last year was the rain. Mm -hmm. Got yeah. rained out. And that was after two years of COVID messed us mm. up. So this is the first time in three years. Wow. So that's why there's a little extra excitement. Mm -hmm. It's always a big event because just so many people get together in Ocean View. But this year's a little extra special. In fact, the last parade we had, we had a really cool Grand Marshal. Did you, do you know a guy named Bruce Rader by any chance? I've heard of him. You've heard of Bruce? I've heard of him. He's a living legend. But he was our last Grand Marshal. He was wonderful. He and his family were there. And the crowds loved him because everybody knows Bruce mm -hmm. and they love Bruce. So, um, But that was the last time we had the parade and it was great. But this year, it's going to be really cool. Mm -hmm. We're expecting a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, just from looking at the history, you know, tell me about it. I mean, it began in 1968 with 1968. This, this idea. I mean, I was just a little wee little baby when it started. Mm -hmm. And um, the guys were, and when I say the guys, I'm talking about the Knights of Columbus. And they're a great group of guys. And they're sitting around the bar area. And they may have been, you know, maybe had a few drinks. But we got Irish guys. We got people from all walks of the community that were members of this Catholic charity, Knights of Columbus, in Ocean View. They're in the Holy Trinity Parish. And they decide, hey, it's St. Patrick's Day. Let's do a parade. So they grab some brooms and trash can lids. You remember back in the old days, you had the metal cans with mm -hmm. the, And they grabbed pots and pans and whatever. And they just went around the block. And that was the first parade. And that was 56 years ago. And we are the longest running St. Patrick's Day parade on the Eastern Seaboard, definitely. Mm -hmm. I think Boston is right there neck and neck with us. And, I, and it's been told that we're the longest running in the nation, 56 wow. years. And um, it's gotten bigger and bigger every year. We're expecting over 50,000 people this year, close to 60,000. And Don Slater's been telling me all week <laughs> that I think the weather's going to end up being pretty good Saturday. That's great. It might not be good in the morning, but hey, when the people start coming out, getting yeah. their spots in line, I'll be set. Well, it's a little bit more organized than just the pots and pans. Oh, um, it is. That they were, it is. So We've got well over 100 different entries. And people, they pay a little fee, but it's well worth it. Mm -hmm. And you plan, we plan way in advance. These guys start organizing back in August. Wow. Yeah. And, and um, just for viewers, I mean, what you're tuning in to see right here, we have some um, B-roll between us of some past parades. So you can get an idea of maybe floats and, you know, green uh, outfits that people are wearing out there. Um, I mean, tell us, like, what is it like out there? You've been going for how long? I this? love your green, by the way. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, that's kind of, people show up early, even mm -hmm. if the weather's lousy. And we've had every kind of weather from too hot and too cold right. to snow and wind and mm -hmm. rain so i really think it's going off on saturday mm -hmm. which is very exciting yeah uh, but people get there early uh cars start staking out their spots a couple days ago if mm -hmm. you go down granby street towards ocean view you'll it's see yeah you'll see people already mm -hmm. got their chairs and their cars out there and they're staking out their spots yeah. and they get there early and they have a little uh i call it hot toddy in the morning to keep them warm mm -hmm. and get primed up for the show but it's very family friendly mm -hmm. it's not crazy everybody brings their kids yeah. and their grandparents and it's a very family oriented community oriented event and it's a blast and everybody lines up and they wait for the parade to come around and we got all kind of different really cool floats um the most popular is definitely the the vietnam vets probably and when I started doing this, 
I've been going to parades for too long to remember. <laughs> I've been MC for mm -hmm. 15 years. Before I did it, my dad was the MC for decades. And then he and a fellow named uh, Irvin Hill, he was, uh, he was an old city councilman, he was a former mayor. Then he worked for Cox Cable. He started doing a live broadcast, which was really went over well. So he brought my dad into the booth. So I took my pop's spot on the reviewing stand with my law partner, who happens to be my cousin, Martin Thomas Sr. He's been in Knights Columbus for decades. So we get to do the MC every year, and it's such a blast. And Martin's son, Martin Thomas Jr., is the Honorable Vice Mayor of Norfolk. So that's pretty cool. And the other committee members that produce this parade, they've been doing this for so long that they've got it down like a well-oiled machine. And they bring it all together. And I know I'm doing all the talking here, but I'm oh, excited. Please. This is why we have I, you I'm in. I'm excited about we it. We need to hear all about so it. So everybody shows up early. They see the parade come through. And then they come to the end of the parade where the reviewing stand is, which is near the Knights of Columbus Hall. And, uh, you know, the Vietnam vets are big. When, and when I, what I was saying was when I first started, we had World War II veterans coming through. And then you have Korean War veterans coming through. And Ocean View is such a family... Uh, community-oriented, tight-knit group that they really appreciate the sacrifice that the men and women of the military have given over the years. So always get a big crowd reaction for our vets. And um, next favorite, I would say, are the marching bands, especially the high school marching bands, and especially Granby. Because yeah. it's their parish, you know, it's not their parish, it's mm -hmm. their neighborhoods yeah, it's their neighborhood. go to Granby. Mm -hmm. But Maury, Norview Booker mm -hmm. T always does a spectacular yeah. job. Well, hey, those people, they want some entertainment out there while yeah. they're watching the parade. Yeah. But we found over the last few years that the parade, which is always around St. Mm -hmm. Patrick's Day, coincides with these regional and national marching band contests. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they just don't have the resources to get all the bands. But we're hoping, mm -hmm. you know, maybe Granby will show up. Yeah. Uh, we used to get ODU's band. Norfolk State's band's been in it. And, oh, my gosh, they're one of the best in the nation. Mm -hmm. uh, Hampton's been there. So they're popular. And as far as uh, it's not just a Norfolk thing, it's a community thing. Another real popular group that is in the parade every year is the Norfolk Sheriffs, Portsmouth Sheriffs. Hampton Sheriff's, Newport News Sheriff's, Virginia Beach. They all get on their motorcycles and they make a lot of noise and they're so friendly. Crowds love them. We get Norfolk Police and Norfolk Sheriff Joe Barron is a big part of the parade. He's an Irish fella, you know. I've heard he likes to drink, but very responsibly because he is an elected official. Joe's great and he brings a really good contingency and he comes up, sits on the reviewing stand with us. So it's really the whole community's out there. We're talking schools, neighborhoods, yeah. you know, other areas of Hampton Roads. Everyone's coming over. I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm new to the neighborhood, I guess, but the hype and the excitement about this parade this year and people being so disappointed the last three years, I mean, I really feel like the atmosphere is is really excited for this year's event. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't just... Is this your first parade? It will be my first oh, parade. Oh, you're going to love it. You're going to love and it. it. Bring your friends. And it doesn't just uh, end with the parade, right? So there's there's other events that continue, you know, through the day. After, Big time. Yeah. Big time. So after the parade, mm -hmm. which will last about a couple hours. Okay. All right. And it, it's, uh, the reviewing stand is on the corner of... First View mm -hmm. and West Government Avenue, right near the Holy Trinity Church parking lot. So then the parade ends, and you got a heavy police presence. They're so wonderful to come out. They they don't volunteer; they have to be there, but they're glad to be there. And they direct traffic, tell everybody where to go. Everybody goes across the street to the Knights of Columbus. Used to be the Knights of Columbus. Now it's called the Columbian Club. And you got to show an idea. You don't want to bring your kids. Mm -hmm. Just because this is of a the, 21 and over it event. It is, yes. and it's not just because there's, mm -hmm. you know, of course, they serve adult beverages and food and regular beverages, but it's because there's so many large people running around. You don't want your kids getting in the shuffle. Mm -hmm. It's a crush of people, but it's cool because you got so many people that show up to see their old friends from high school, elementary school, from where they used to work with them. we got people from out of town all come in this week because they know the parades happen and they know they're going to see all their old friends and family members 
that they haven't seen since last year. So that's really what makes it extra special. I mean, my family alone, I got, there's like 250 of us in this area. So we take up one whole section of the bar. So this is a family reunion oh, for it's you real, guys. Yeah, it's cool. There's a lot of Lebanese people show up. And you got your Irish, and you mm-hmm. got your Greeks, and you got your Italians, and then you got all your OV people. Mm-hmm. And Ocean View, you, you got to include Ocean View when you talk about the parade. And what's really cool since you've been here, I know you've noticed the Ocean View bumper stickers mm-hmm. and the Ocean View license plates, the pride that people that were born and raised in Ocean View have for their community and the transplants is evident everywhere you look. So it's really cool that we got that Ocean View thing going on. And I mean, tell me a little bit about your experience with the parade. I mean, you've said it here, you know, you've been going for years. I mean, yeah. is there a particular parade or part that you love or, or memory that you have? Yeah, well, the, my best memories is hanging out with my dad and my two brothers, we started going to the parade as far back as we can remember when we were little kids. And my dad was the master MC. He was hilarious. Watching him get up there and joke about everybody and, and have fun with everybody. And he knew everybody in town really made it uh, special for us. And when I got to take over as MC, it made it even better. And now my wife and kids come out. Um, so that's that's the most special mm-hmm. thing is, is being part of the, the family uh, aspect of this right. event is the best. And the other really cool thing is I've gotten to meet some really great people that we bring in as Grand Marshal. Mm-hmm. So to be, the, it's an honorary role, but the Grand Marshal shows up early and we put it in the sash and the hat and the, you know, it's a little mm-hmm. ceremony. And then the limo takes him from Knights of Columbus and drives him to the start of the parade, which is in front of Northside Elementary School yes. on Granby Street. And then he gets in his uh, convertible, really special vehicle, and he brings his wife, his, whoever he wants to bring, and rides the parade route. Um, and then hangs out on the reviewing stand with us. But I've gotten to meet governors, uh, you know, the politicians, people that are, give a lot to the community, and also people that are just beloved in the community, like Bruce Rader. He was great. But uh, we've had Governor McDonald. Mm-hmm. We've had... Um, Governor McAuliffe, we've had, uh, gosh, there's so many past governors that were gracious enough to be our Grand Marshal. Uh, Mayor Frame mm-hmm. was there. Um, my dad was there many years ago. That was a fun parade. Um, the sheriffs, the just local people that, uh, that are recognized and that do a lot for others. And that's this year, you can't get anybody that's done more for this region than Bruce Thompson. He gives of his time, his talent, his treasure to every charity you can imagine. He's raised more money for ALS. His son son was afflicted with that. God rest his soul, he passed. But Bruce raised millions of dollars with the uh, annual walk uh, for ALS for his son Josh. That's just one thing he does. Mm -hmm. But when you call somebody like Bruce Thompson, you go, hey, We need your help. We need to help a a children's charity or a social charity or a civic charity. He goes, how much do you need? Where do I send the check? That's the kind of guy he is. So we're very honored to have Bruce Thompson this year. You know Bruce? I've not personally met him, no. He would love you. um, He's very personable. mm -hmm. You know, he owns the main hotel, which is in downtown Norfolk, across from the Decker Law Mm -hmm. Firm. Um, he also owns the Cavalier on the Hill mm-hmm. and the new Cavalier across the street and the new, I think it's a, a Marriott property mm-hmm. next to that that they've developed like a suites yeah. and a condo. So it's really, a, you know, it's from who you've named and we have got a wavy in there with Bruce Rader and we have, you know, government in there and then community leaders who have really, you know, been there, as you've said, to, to help others. Yeah. I mean, it's really more even than just the celebration. It's really giving back to the community. Exactly. Exactly. Last year and the year before, we had a guy named Steve Ballard. You know, the SB Ballard Stadium at ODU is named after mm-hmm. him. Another very, very generous guy. Before that, we had Dennis Elmer, who is actually from Ocean View, who actually was a part of Holy Trinity Parish when he was a kid. And these guys just, you know, they don't come from 
a privileged background. They just got out there and worked their butts off and became extremely successful uh, entrepreneurs, business people. And instead of just, you know, counting their money like uh, Scrooge McDuck, they give back to the community. And that's why we've, we're honored that they are stepping up and being our grand marshals. And the parades continued for so long. I mean, obviously, people want to give to it and be involved and be a part of it yeah. over the last 56 years. I mean, are there people, you've mentioned some, you know, different groups, but, you know, who are the mainstays that have been there since, you know, 1968? Is it, is it really is the group in Ocean View, really, that has just held this parade yeah, yeah, together? Yeah, yeah, they all step up. And a lot of people just want to... Uh, there's a marketing aspect. Mm -hmm. You pay a little fee and you get your float in and mm -hmm. you get to dress up and have fun and be musical. Um, but it's really just seeing all your old friends and family going around the block. It's a mile or so through Ocean View and, and just having a blast. Right. And the kids love it. Everybody loves a parade. Yeah. And they line up five or ten deep throughout the whole parade route. And then if you're older and you want to catch up with the old friends, then you go over to the Columbian Club for mm -hmm. an after party. Mm -hmm. So that goes till about uh, four or five in the afternoon. And for some people, the fun probably starts on Friday, St. Patrick's Day, and then they get it for the weekend. Yeah. 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 The timing's good this mm -hmm. year. The 17th, obviously, tomorrow's Friday. Yes. And then the 18th is mm -hmm. our parade. Yeah. Um, well, I just wanted, I, you know, I wanted to check. We have some people tuning in. Um, I think everyone's just excited as you are and as as the community is to get started on the the parade. They're going to have to wait. And then I know people are wondering, and you mentioned um, Don Slater's weather, but, you know, what just worst case scenario, and I hate to throw it out there, but what are some of the plans? You know, if there might be some light rain, if, you know, the rain might be a little heavier in the morning, are, are you really pushing through except for, you know, major wind or, you know, something else that could come yeah, out of there? Yeah, a little rain, I just wear my rubbers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the big thing that we focus on is safety. Mm -hmm. We got kids out there. You got people on floats. So if it's too windy, too rainy, if there's lightning, thunder, too much rain, then we're going to call it off because safety is our primary concern. But if it's safe and it's just bad weather, we're going to show up and have fun. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, like the, one of the last things I just wanted to talk about, um, and thank you so much for giving me so much of your time and the community oh, who's, who's tuning in. But, you know, I just wanted to ask, um, you know, for this parade and, and for, you know, the people that are coming, I and mean, we've talked about the community aspect, we've talked about um, how important it is for Ocean View. I mean, for you, I mean, why do you keep giving so much of your time to this event? You know, what, what holds the parade so close to your heart? Oh, uh, well, I guess it's been 25 years now since the uh, the guys on the committee, they welcomed me, they gave me an opportunity to join the Knights Columbus, which is a Catholic charity they give to the community. Um, and so I became a member of the Knights. And I guess I was kind of born into it because my father was so heavily involved in this great event. So for me, it's, I don't think of it as giving my time. I just love being there. I'd be, even if I was at the MC, I'd be there because I just love seeing everybody, mm -hmm. especially my family. Um, and, you know, on the MC role, you did mention that you guys do a little bit of reviewing of some floats. Are there any prizes that people win or is it just pride at the end of the day for whose float has the most it's um, pride. comments in It's OV pride, <laughs> baby. And over the years, I guess we've, we may have had this award or that award, but uh, it evolves and it's what people like. And, and now it's just, let's just show up and have a blast and uh, see everybody and, and give your kids something, give them that great memory Absolutely. of the Ocean View Parade that they'll never forget. Well, if people want to tune into your commentary of the event, is that something they do um, on site, or is there a place? Yeah, they can you go? just show up, and there's not mm -hmm. a whole lot of people in front of the reviewing mm -hmm. stand, but but uh, we have a blast, and some people are listening, some people could care less, and we don't care. We're there just to have fun and celebrate the Grand Marshal and his mm -hmm. family and our past Grand Marshals. And, uh, and then get everybody ready for the big after party. Absolutely. Well, um, thank you so much for coming in today. I'm going to, is there anything else that you want to share? I just hope you'll everyone? show up and visit the reviewing stand and I can introduce you to everybody and, and take you over to the Columbian Club. You're going to love it. 
Thanks. Well, I mean, I will say just to preface, I am doing a little bit of the 8K in the morning for the ah, Shamrock. Good so. for you. We get a lot so, of people uh, show up. Yeah. And they're too. It'll be just on the path of Shore Drive. I'll just head right over. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Well, um, thank you so much. And thank you to everyone who's tuning in. If you're watching it now, if you're going to watch this conversation later, um, head over to wavy.com to hear more about the parade um, and more past parade information. So thank you so much to everyone tuning in. Thank you. Thank you.